Good evening, everybody. Good evening and welcome to Prestonwood Christian Academy's 2018 graduation ceremonies. I'd ask that you remain standing. We're going to begin our ceremony tonight singing a great old hymn, All Creatures of Our God and King. Dr. Jack Graham. I guess I better use this. I'm used to having one on here. Good, good evening, graduates. And to all your families and friends, this is a magnificent occasion, of course, a memorable occasion. And uh, we congratulate you on your great accomplishments. And uh, that's plural because this class has achieved so very much individually and united together. And uh, we are grateful to have had a part in your life, a significant part through Prestonwood Christian Academy, many of you Prestonwood Church as well, to have this part in your life and then to give some high fives tonight, throw our hats in the air and celebrate uh, the goodness of God and the greatness of God in your lives. Uh, we've had some uh, very memorable graduations from the first one, which we could have had in a small room here at the church uh, 20 plus years ago. And uh, then of course our growing number of graduates and uh, growing congregation as we meet. So it's exciting. One year, Larry Taylor nearly burned the pulpit down. And, uh, but you know, Dr. Taylor is on fire for the Lord and his leadership has, uh, has been the consistent, sustaining, strengthening, guiding uh, milestone of our church and, and school. And so we're so very grateful, Larry, for you, for Dr. Taylor, for the incredible faculty and staff of PCA, and for all of you who invested financially and otherwise, but most of all, the gift of your student, the gift of these young men and women. And a quick word before I pray. We just sang a great classic hymn of faith. And it speaks of the greatness of our Creator, the greatness of our God. And it reminded me as we were singing to remind you 
and all of you that our God is a great God. I read a book probably when I was about a senior in high school. Um, that was, by the way, 50 years ago. Our organist was playing Climb Every Mountain a moment ago, and that was our class song. There were so many classes in the 1960s, that was the class song. Climb Every Mountain. But I read a book called Your God is Too Small by J.B. Phillips. Your God is Too Small. And what I learned in reading that book was something of the greatness of God. That so often the God that we make ourselves is manageable and controllable and containable. But our God is bigger than we could possibly imagine him to be. Our God is a great and glorious God. He's a big, big, big God. And because that is true, because you have a great God, a big God, he can do great things in your life. He really can. I could have never imagined 50 years ago the journey that God has taken me forward and just all the things above and beyond my great God has done. For after all, if God be for us, who can be against us? Let's pray together. Thank you, Lord, for the greatness of your glory and your presence in our lives through Jesus Christ, for the witness of your Holy Spirit within us that lets us know that we are your children, that you have chosen to include us in your great family of faith. Thank you for being that God, bigger, greater, than we could possibly imagine. But you love us so much that you stepped into our world and touched our lives and changed us forever. Thank you for times like these to celebrate and to congratulate one another on achievements and accomplishments well done. And for this class of 2018, their family, their friends, this faculty, this administration, we all together, united as one, say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your grace, your salvation, and your calling upon our lives. Because we know that you're a God who is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think or imagine according to your power within us. To him be glory in the church throughout all ages forever and ever, amen. God bless you, please be seated. As we begin, our celebration tonight, highlighting the variety of accomplishments of all our graduates, we particularly want to honor this year's valedictorian and salutatorian in their pursuit of academic excellence. First, I would like to invite this year's salutatorian, Ms. Courtney Vela, who began her PCA journey in pre-K-4, to share some thoughts with us, followed by this year's valedictorian, Ms. Emily Chastain, who also began her journey in pre-K-4. Courtney? Welcome, teachers, administrators, friends, family, and the class of 2018. It is such a wonderful honor to be your salutatorian and to be speaking with you this evening. This celebration tonight is the culmination of 14 crazy, confusing, beautiful years. And I've had the special privilege of being at Prestonwood since I was four years old. And I've been able to watch the Lord masterfully weave together this class of 2018. At the start of it all in 2004, 47 of us here tonight walked into the, into the lower school for the very first time with backpacks as big as we were and scheduled nap times, which now we just call activity period. And along the way, 80 others have joined us. Every one of you has helped shape our class into a special community. What would we be without Lexi Colin warming up the dance floor, Maddie Rinker's laughs echoing throughout the hallway, or Dylan Bone wanting to take over the world? 
But we are so much more than just an average group of teenagers. We are artists, athletes, scholars, actors, musicians, and more, each intentionally and uniquely gifted by our creator. As a class, we have shared so many special memories this year. From our senior retreat to homecoming to JSB, nothing spoke to me as a culmination of our time here like Senior Run did. If you've read my narrative in the commencement program, you may detect some self-plagiarism coming up, but I truly wanted to expand upon those thoughts more. Join me. It was absolute madness. Air horns and water balloons and silly string, and finally a dress code open to a bit of interpretation. We had waited years for our turn, to plaster our skirts with our college colors, to refashion our beloved chapel shirts, and to run through the hallways just like kindergarten all over again. Senior run was finally here. At the sound of a horn, we began. And what's meant to be a fun tradition was so much more to me. Since I tend to overanalyze things, a 45 second run through the hallway became a metaphor for our entire time here together. Here at Prestonwood, we run, we don't walk. Every student here is in full pursuit of their passions and dreams. Whenever I grew weary and uninspired over the years, I simply turned to those around me for a picture of perseverance and an example of excellence. At Prestonwood, I have always felt loved and encouraged. Sometimes it may not be as apparent as the cheers and hollers during senior run, but it is an ever-present culture of this school. The teachers here have wanted nothing but the best for and from us and have endlessly invested time and wisdom in each of us. Each teacher in every grade level was a step in the process to discovering our passions and developing our personalities. For me, it was Miss Barla who helped me fall in love with reading, Mrs. Dotson who settled my insecurities about loving math, Mrs. Ellis who showed me the importance of kindness, and Mrs. Lumley who revealed the absolute majesty of God's creation in biology class. Thank you to every teacher here who has challenged us intellectually, encouraged us emotionally, strengthened us spiritually, and loved us unconditionally. On behalf of the class of 2018, I want to extend our gratitude to every teacher here tonight. And to the parents here tonight, thank you. Thank you for not only loving your own child, but for investing in each of us, for driving us all around the Metroplex, for wiping our tears, and for being our biggest fans. But beyond that, for being fervent examples of Christ's love. Mom and Dad, wherever you are, you are my everything. And Matthew, you're my very best friend. I can't wait to be at Vanderbilt with you next year. Whew. And so, a lifetime spent within these halls and these places comes to a bittersweet end. For me, it was 14 years spent alongside people I love and people I wish I knew better. To the class of 2018, keep chasing after your passions and keep chasing after the Lord. Each and every one of you has inspired me and taught me something special in our journey here. We should glean wisdom from the senior run tradition. After we ran through the hallways, we took times afterwards to reflect outside. So while running fervently towards your ambitions glorifies the Lord, it is so important to take a moment to reflect on where you have been and where you are. This year's exhausting, beautiful run ends with tonight. So let us cherish these next few moments together before we all go our separate, significant ways. Thank you for being a part of our class and know that you are forever welcomed in these halls. And to the class of 2019, it has been such a joy to get to know some of you this year. It's your time now. Remember to serve first and lead second and to start each day with Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for blessing us all and for giving us the opportunity to learn together and pursue you together. And thank you, Prestonwood, for giving us the foundation, the confidence, the gratefulness needed for a life of significance serving our Lord. And to Emily, I am so very proud of you and so thankful I got to grow up with you all these years. Your brilliance and hard work inspires all of us, and I'm honored to share the podium with you tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Courtney, that was amazing, and I have been continually encouraged by your intent to pursue perfection in every aspect of your life. I want to thank every person in this room who has poured into the class of 2018. Without all of you, we would not be walking across the stage tonight. Your love and care has not gone unnoticed. I believe that life and living is defined by moments, not by the number of breaths you take, the number of days you live, or the number of years you're alive but instead by the number of moments that take your breath away. 
I believe that it is in moments like this one right now where my life is flashing before my eyes. The low valleys, high hills, and all the flat ground in between come together to create the defining moments of our lives. Days pass only to become but a second in a long line of memories. In fact, time is tricky. Whenever you want it to go by quickly, it drags on, making a minute seem like an eternity. And when you want time to just slow down, it passes by in the blink of an eye. However, it is this aspect of time that gives life meaning and purpose, causing us to hold on to moments we never want to end. Looking back now, I would have never imagined that I would be standing here in front of all of you tonight. It was 14 years ago that a really small, really scared little girl walked into Mrs. King's pre-K-4 classroom, holding a Winnie the Pooh bear and completely clueless to what the next years of her life would hold. That little girl has since grown, not much taller, but hopefully wiser. She is no longer scared of what lies ahead because she knows what lies behind and within her. Teachers and faculty, thank you for molding and shaping that little girl into the young lady standing here before you today. Although this school and these people have been all I have ever known, I cannot fathom teachers who care more for their students and invest in their lives than all of you. Thank you for allowing me to ask sometimes too many questions and fostering in me a love for learning. Mrs. Hubbard, thank you for always being there when I needed to talk and constantly reminding me that it's all going to be okay. Mrs. Merriman, thank you for understanding every part of me, especially my humor, and knowing that one cookie is never enough. Mrs. Lichty, thank you for your big smiles, big hugs, and always believing in me, whether I was on the track or in the classroom. Lastly, Dr. Moss and all the guidance office, my four years would have looked significantly different without all of your help. Your encouragement always came when I needed it most, and, that, and for that, I am truly grateful. Mom and Dad, thank you for allowing me to jump, catching me when I fall, and cheering me on when I fly. Thank you for instilling in me my love for Christ and, of course, for Aggieland, and knowing my heart better than anyone else, including myself. I am forever grateful for the love and support y'all offer me daily. Tonight, I am standing before my classmates because of you guys. I love y'all endlessly. Zach, thank you for being the person I look up to, admire, and want to be just like. From the day I was born, I've been your biggest fan, and I can't wait to join you at Texas A&M. And lastly, Trin, there is no one like you. You know just how to make me smile when no one else can, and being your big sister is one of the greatest joys of my life. Class of 2018, you have comprised so many of my moments, so many of my memories. As I stand here and look at each of you tonight, I am overwhelmed at how each and every one of you has had an immense impact on my life and on my heart. Some of you I have known for 14 years, and others have joined us along the way. However, your impact has been no less. Running track has taught me more about myself than anything else I have ever done. There are two lessons to come, that come to mind, and they are my prayer for each of you. First, you are stronger than you think. What lies ahead may look daunting. Trust me, mile repeats nearly killed me every time, but you are capable of amazing things. Doubt is merely the mind overcoming the heart. Let your heart overcome your mind, and there is nothing you can't accomplish. Second, run hard and don't look back, but never forget all the ones you love and the places you left. Life's a marathon, and the hardest miles are yet to come, but you are ready for whatever comes your way. My wish for all of you as you begin this new chapter of your life is that you run after your passions, you have the courage to follow your heart, and you always remember who and whose you are. If you do all these things, you will be ready, to, you will be ready when the time comes to fight. Fight for the job you want, fight for the ones you love, fight for the world you want to live in, and fight for all of those whom no one else will choose to fight for. Looking back, it is so clear to me how God has had his fingerprints in all the moments of our lives. Let's all work on noticing his presence in the moment rather than after the moment ends. I would hate for us to miss out on what he has planned for us because we are already focused on tomorrow's responsibilities or yesterday's disappointments. Slow down and take every bit of every moment in because one day you, they will be gone and you will have wished you had. I have spent all of senior year wishing time would just come to a stop or at least slow down. And now here we are at the culmination of our time at Prestonwood and I'm not ready to leave. It looks like the little girl I was 14 years ago knew the impact PCA would have on my life because it was Winnie the Pooh who said, how lucky am I to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard. And boy, is Pooh Bear so right. Thanks and gig em.
Wow, thank you, Emily and Courtney, for your special remarks. And of course, uh, for your obvious uh, commitment to scholastic excellence. But beyond the academic commitment, thank you for the character that you exemplify. The fact that both of you are lifers makes it even a little bit more special. Congratulations. And thank you, family and friends, for joining us for this special ceremony as we honor the class of 2018. We're so proud, extremely proud of these students. And I think it's very noteworthy. We've announced this at a few events, but I know several of you have not heard this, but it's noteworthy to announce that the class of 2018, they have garnered uh, around $13.2 million of college scholarships. And when you add our PCA Plus graduates, they had another $500,000 of scholarships for a almost $14 million. So I think that deserves a round of applause. Congratulations, <laughs> seniors. It's an honor to have with me on the platform, uh, Mrs. Wendy Morris, our upper school principal, Mrs. Dana Epperson, our assistant head of school over academics, uh, Dr. Jack Graham, a senior pastor here at Prestonwood, Mike Buster, our executive pastor at Prestonwood, and Mr. Brian Sappington, the PCA Board of Trustees Chair. And this wasn't in the script tonight, but I think it would be uh, very appropriate at this time that we would all pause for a moment of silence, a moment of silent prayer for the families and faculty of Sa at Santa Fe High School. The tragedy this morning, the loss of life, is a reminder of the sanctity of life. Thank you for joining me for a moment of silent prayer. We lift them up to you, Father, in Jesus' name, amen. Before we begin our diploma presentation, it is with great honor that I introduce 11 of our seniors who have achieved our highest level of academic achievement and will be graduating as Lion Scholar. Following this, I will be recognizing 10 seniors who have also achieved one of our highest academic levels and will be graduating as STEM graduates, our science, technology, engineering, math program. Will the following Lion Scholar graduates please come forward and join Mr. Lee, the director of our Lion Scholar program, and Mrs. Morris on stage and remain here for a picture. Jacqueline Beck, Emily Blackwell, Dylan Bone, Natanya Christopher, Cannon Hill, Sydney Johnson, Avery Powell, Avery Rudd, Landry Strawbridge, Courtney Villa, and Joy Wada. The Lion Scholar Program requires that a student complete the Distinguished Achievement Program. The Distinguished Achievement Program is our most advanced graduation plan, which involves taking additional math and foreign language classes passing the LSP program with a B or higher, read and write two book reviews each year enrolled in the program, receive credit for four advanced measures, advanced placement or dual credit, choose a specified focus track, politics, law, or economics, theology or philosophy, science, math, or literature and fine arts, and then write a focus paper during their freshman, sophomore, and junior, junior years. When it's their senior year, they have to write a senior thesis. They also have to attend some, uh, two summer study programs. They have to participate in the Student Leadership Institute and the Distinguished Achievement Program and graduate magna cum laude. Please give a hand to our Lion Scholar graduates.
Congratulations, Lion Scholars. You can, be, you can be seated. STEM Honors graduates. At this time, I would like to recognize the 10 STEM Honor graduates. When I call your name, please join uh, Mr. Dana Sedgas, our STEM Honors Program Director, and Mrs. Morris on the stage and remain for a picture. Dylan Bone, Natanya Christopher, Jordan Guile, Cannon Hill, Jason Kim, Jesse Lian, Gavin McManus, Nicholas Solomon, Landry Strawbridge, and Courtney Villa. These seniors have fulfilled the following requirements. They've completed the Distinguished Achievement Program, as I mentioned earlier, our most advanced graduation plan. They've received credit for four advanced measure STEM courses, whether it's AP or dual credit. They've participated in the STEM Honors Program from sophomore to senior year, and these requirements are continuing to be phased into the program. They've completed a program-sponsored effective research and technical writing course or courses. They've completed a minimum of 10 hours of STEM-related outside study for each enrolled in the program. They've completed a STEM-related proof of concept project in freshman or sophomore year, and they've completed a two-year STEM-related research project in their junior and senior year, and they've graduated magna cum laude. Please welcome and congratulate our STEM honor graduates. At this time, we need the first row of seniors and their parents to please uh, line up uh, to my left. On behalf of Pastor Jack Graham and our Board of Trustees and our faculty and staff, I want to officially begin our diploma presentations. This is a very special part of our commencement exercises because it is more than just a diploma exchange. Each senior will meet their parents for a private blessing. A rose will be given symbolizing the love and the beauty and the honor of the God-ordained relationship between a child and his parents or grandparents and family. In fact, we feel that God places, God's word places the parents as the, the key part of educating their child, which is the cornerstone to kingdom education. Thus, the brief blessing is symbolic of our kingdom education philosophy. Some brief comments will be made about each student, and then they'll proceed for their diploma. I would respectfully ask that you refrain from yelling and screaming, because it'll prevent others from hearing the special remarks. Please feel free to stand as your senior, if, you have a, if you're a family member or a special guest, as your senior is being introduced, please feel free to stand. But we ask, and we'll collectively applaud at the end, of course. And everyone, I just want to personally say, we realize that our ceremony is different than most graduation commencement exercises. And we've chosen for it to be different. We've chosen for it to be traditional and reverent. That's why we celebrate in the Lord's house and we realize that most schools allow the hooting and hollering, and, and that's their choice. That's fine, but that's not our choice. Thank you for understanding. And if you choose to still scream and yell, and really it's essentially be disrespectful, uh, you'll be escorted out by a local authority. And let's not have that happen. Let's enjoy our ceremony. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Taylor. Before we begin, Mrs. Benavides and I have been sitting here and I saw this little cluster right here. And we know that a shepherd overlooks a flock, but I was overcome because there's a whole flock of shepherds sitting right there before us. Thank you for what you do every day in investing in all of us and in our students. Um, 
it's all to his glory and it's a very special thing to observe. So thank you, shepherds, very much. <clears throat> now to his glory, Mrs. Benavides and I are delighted to present to you this very special class, the PCA class of 2018. And class to you, Mrs. Benavides and I simply want to say thank you for the blessing of walking with you. It's been very, very special. Now the class of 2018. Alexandra Colleen Actamar. Allie has been at PCA for four years and is the daughter of Errol and Dara Actamar. She plans to attend Baylor University to study business administration. Alexandra Colleen Actamar. Emery Jean Actamar. Emery has been at PCA for four years and is the daughter of Errol, Errol and Dara Actamar. She plans to attend Baylor University to study business and marketing. Emery Jean Actamar. Thomas Cole Allen, magna cum laude. Cole has been at PCA and PCA Plus for nine years and is the son of Jeff and Lisa Allen. He plans to attend Texas A&M University to study business marketing. Mackenzie Elizabeth Arnold, summa cum laude. Mackenzie has been at PCA for four years and her parents are John and Sue Arnolds and father is Dylan McGee. She plans to attend Boston University. Mackenzie Elizabeth Arnolds. Sarah Elizabeth Ashmore, magna cum laude. Sarah has been at PCA for four years and is the daughter of Reed and Laura Ashmore. She plans to attend the University of Oklahoma to study business. Sarah. Elizabeth Ashmore, John Beck Atkins. <clears throat> Beck has been at PCA for 14 years and is the son of Chad and Angie Atkins. He plans to attend Baylor University to study finance and entrepreneurship. John Beck Atkins. Richard David Baker, cum laude. Ricky has been at PCA for two years and is the son of Richard and Pam Baker. He plans to attend the University of Texas at El Paso to study criminal justice. Richard David Baker II. Michaela Grace Bardwell, summa cum laude. Michaela has been at PCA for five years and is the daughter of Steve and Andrea Bardwell. She plans to attend University of Tennessee to study mathematics. Michaela Grace Bardwell. Jasmine Tambria Barnes. Jasmine has been at PCA for 14 years and is the daughter of Reynold and Tambria Barnes. She plans to attend Harding University to study criminal justice and forensics. Jasmine Tambria Barnes. Jacqueline Marie Beck, summa cum laude. Jacqueline has been at PCA for four years and is the daughter of Rodney Beck and Catherine Beck. She plans to attend the University of Georgia to study political science. Jacqueline Marie Beck. Avery Allison Beskar, magna cum laude. Avery has been at PCA for five years and is the daughter of Jim Beskar and Laura Beskar. She plans to attend Auburn University to study biochemistry. Avery Allison Beskar. Emily, stay right there, okay? I want you to be close for just a minute. Chloe Christian Bibbler. Uh, Chloe is not able to be here tonight as she is competing at the USA Gymnastics 2018 Elite Challenge held at the, universe, at the U.S. Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs. This is an important meet as she is pursuing a spot to represent two, Team USA in international and Olympic competitions. Chloe has been at PCA for three years and is the daughter of Brian Bibbler and Kathy Baker. She plans to attend Dallas Baptist University to study kinesiology. Emily Nicole Blackwell, summa cum laude, Emily has been at PCA for 14 years and is the daughter of Jeff and Caroline Blackwell. 
She plans to attend Baylor University to study elementary education. Emily Nicole Blackwell. Samuel Owen Bosey, summa cum laude. Sam has been at PCA for two years and is the son of Mike and Sharon Bosey. He plans to attend Richland Junior College to study civil engineering. Samuel Owen Bosey. Dylan Alexander Bone, summa cum laude. Dylan has been at PCA for nine years and is the son of Greg and Amy Bone. He plans to attend Texas A&M University to study business marketing. Dylan Alexander Bone. Carson Grace Burgess, summa cum laude. Carson has been at PCA for two years and is the daughter of Phil and Amy Burgess. She plans to attend Texas A&M University to study economics. Carson Grace Burgess. Alexander John Caesar, magna cum laude. Alex has been at PCA for 14 years and is the son of Josh and Karen Caesar and Cassie Caesar. He plans to attend University of Oklahoma to study engineering. Alexander John Caesar. Jaime Cantu III. Cum laude. Jaime has been at PCA for two years and is the son of Jaime and Iris Cantu. He plans to attend Texas Tech University to study business. Jaime Cantu III. Rebecca Jordan Carlisle, cum laude. Becca has been at PCA for 15 years and is the daughter of Richard and Julie Carlisle. She plans to attend Evangel University to study athletic training. Rebecca Jordan Carlisle. Lakey Elizabeth Carpenter, magna cum laude. Lakey has been at PCA for 14 years and is the daughter of Jason and Amy Carpenter. She plans to attend the University of Arkansas to study business. Lakey Elizabeth Carpenter. Casey Jane Carter. Magna cum laude. Casey has been at PCA for four years and is the daughter of Alan and Mary Jane Carter. She plans to attend Auburn University to study business. Casey Jane Carter. Parrish Brooks Chapman. Magna cum laude. Brooks has been at PCA for six years and is the son of Parrish Chapman and Lisa Chapman. He plans to attend Texas A&M University to study business economics. Parrish Brooks Chapman. Emily Alexis Carol Chastain, summa cum laude. Emily has been at PCA for 14 years and is the daughter of Chris and Dana Chastain. She plans to attend Texas A&M University to pursue a career in medicine. Emily Alexis Carol Chastain. Natanya Nitin Christopher. Natanya has been at PCA for 11 years and is the daughter of Nitin and Rachel Christopher. She plans to attend the University of Texas at Austin to study pre med. Natanya Nitin Christopher. Alexa Diane Colan, summa cum laude. Lexi has been at PCA for 13 years and is the daughter of Lee and Julie Colan. She plans to attend Wake Forest University to study business and sustainability. Alexa Diane Colan. Faith Ann Conradi, cum laude. Faith Ann has been at PCA for two years and is the daughter of David and Becky Conradi. She plans to attend Liberty University to study music and worship. Faith Ann Conradi. Timothy Martin Crisp, Jr. Do they not want to let you go, Timothy? Summa cum laude. Timothy has been at PCA for 15 years and is the son of Tim and Ann Crisp. He plans to attend the University of Texas at Austin to pursue a nursing career. Timothy Martin Crisp, 
Jr. John Grayson Cunningham. Hold on. I've done this before. Jack Nelson Cross, <laughs> magna cum laude. Jack has been at PCA for 14 years and is the son of Sean and Tara Cross. He plans to attend Texas A&M University to study finance. Jack Nelson Cross. Nicholas Michael Kraus, cum laude. Nick has been at PCA for seven years and is the son of Michael and Colette Kraus. He plans to attend the University of Arkansas to study business. Nicholas Michael Kraus. Mary Holland Crowther. Mary Holland has been at PCA for 14 years and is the daughter of Jim and Martha Sue Crowther. She plans to attend Oklahoma State University to study human development and family services. Mary Holland Crowther. John Grayson Cunningham. Summa cum laude. Gray has been at PCA and PCA Plus for 11 years and is the son of John Cunningham and Angela Cunningham. He plans to attend Baylor University to study business. John Grayson Cunningham. Pierce Thomas Devon, cum laude. Pierce has been at PCA for one year and is the son of Dennis Devon and Beverly Devon. He plans to attend the University of Connecticut to study business marketing. Pierce Thomas Devon. William Elijah Dominguez, cum laude. Elijah has been at PCA for three years and is the son of Santiago and Carmela Dominguez. He plans to attend John Brown University to study marketing and photography. William Elijah Dominguez. Caroline Grace Dow, magna cum laude. Caroline has been at PCA for three years and is the daughter of Andy and Lynn Dow. He plans to attend Texas, she plans to attend Texas A&M University to study nutrition. Caroline Grace Dow. Matthew Christian Dykes, magna cum laude. Matt has been at PCA for six years and is the son of Randy and Michael Ann Dykes. He plans to attend Southern Methodist University to study mechanical engineering and business. Matthew Christian Dykes. Matthew Jonathan Eschick, cum laude. Matthew has been at PCA for five years and is the son of Juan Carlos and Yenny Eschick. He plans to attend the University of Texas at San Antonio to study business administration, Matthew Jonathan Eschick. Luke Daniel Eustace, cum laude. Luke has been at PCA for two years and is the son of Jack and Sherry Eustace. He plans to attend the University of Oklahoma to pursue a business career, Luke Daniel Eustace. Tyler Stephen Euting, summa cum laude. Tyler has been at PCA for three years and is the son of Tim and Jessica Uding. He plans to attend Texas A&M University to study business finance. Tyler Stephen Uding. Jacob David Florsham, magna cum laude. Jacob has been at PCA for two years and is the son of Scott and Melanie Florsham. He plans to attend the University of Arkansas to study business. Jacob David Florsham. Shelby Lynn Geist, magna cum laude. Shelby has been at PCA for 11 years and is the daughter of Russell and Kathy Geist. She plans to attend Southern Methodist University to study English and history. Shelby Lynn Geist. Suray Rachel Gang, summa cum laude. Rachel has been at PCA for three years and is the daughter of Haying Zhang and Gwen Li. Standing with her tonight is her mentor and PCA senior English teacher, Pam Merriman. Rachel plans to attend Texas A&M 
to study civil engineering, Sue Ray Rachel Gang, Caitlin Grace Gibbs, Magnum Cum Laude. Katie has been at PCA for six years and is the daughter of Steve and Michelle Gibbs. She plans to attend the Paul Mitchell School of Dallas to pursue a career in cosmetology. Caitlin Grace Gibbs. Jordan Elizabeth Guile, summa cum laude. Jordan has been at PCA for 14 years and is the daughter of Darren and Kristen Guile. She plans to attend Texas A&M University to study biomedical engineering. Jordan Elizabeth Guile. Margaret Elizabeth Goff, magna cum laude. Maggie has been at PCA and PCA Plus for 11 years and is the daughter of Mike and Betty Goff. She plans to attend Washita Baptist University. Margaret Elizabeth Goff. Nolan Blaine Good, magna cum laude. Nolan has been at PCA for seven years and is the son of Jeff and Kelly Good. He plans to attend the College of the Ozarks to study business marketing. Nolan Blaine Good. Wiley Spencer Green, summa cum laude. Wiley has been at PCA for three years and is the son of Lamar and Tara Green. He plans to attend Rice University to study economics. Wiley Spencer Green. Sean Robert Gelker, cum laude. Sean has been at PCA for 14 years and is the son of Tim Gelker and Beth Gelker. He plans to attend Oklahoma State University to study finance. Sean Robert Gelker. Riley Chase Gunderson, cum laude. Riley has been at PCA for five years and is the daughter of David and Wendy Gunderson. She plans to attend the University of Texas at Arlington to study psychology or finance. Riley Chase Gunderson. McKinley Shauna Hallowell, cum laude. McKinley has been at PCA for 10 years and is the daughter of Mark and Shauna Hallowell. She plans to attend Oklahoma State University to study human development and family science. McKinley Shauna Hallowell. Brooks William Russell Hammond. Brooks has been at PCA for seven years and is the son of Ronald and Annette Hammond. He plans to attend the Citadel to study business. Brooks William Russell Hammond. Harrison Sawyer Haynes. Harrison has been at PCA for three years and is the son of Andrew and Jan Haynes. His plans are yet undecided as we know he's trying to make a decision among several options. Harrison Sawyer Haynes. Ian Richard Hebert, magna cum laude. Ian has been at PCA for eight years and is the son of Charles and Susan Hebert. He plans to attend Oklahoma State University to study aerospace and aviation. Ian Richard Hebert. Liam Joseph Hessing, magna cum laude. Liam has been at PCA for seven years and is the son of Chad and Sarah Hessing. He plans to attend the University of Arkansas to study mechanical engineering. Liam Joseph Hessing. Cannon Parker Hill, summa cum laude. As the recipient of the most prestigious commander's four-year Air Force ROTC scholarship, he plans to attend Southern Methodist University to study public policy. Cannon has been at PCA for six years and is the son of Ryan Hill and Cindy Hill. Cannon Parker Hill. Drake Matthew Hopkins, magna cum laude. Drake has been at PCA for seven years and is the son of Rockwell and Yvette Hopkins. 
He plans to attend Texas Tech University to study business. Drake Matthew Hopkins. Jonathan David Hurley. Jonathan has been at PCA for seven years and is the son of Tim Hurley and Ellen Hurley. He plans to attend Texas Tech University to study finance. Jonathan David Hurley. You good? I wasn't that hard on her as her counselor, but Taylor Suzanne Jeske, cum laude. Taylor has been at PCA for eight years and is the daughter of Paul and Mary Lee Jeske. She plans to attend Southern Methodist University to study biology. Taylor Suzanne Jeske. Sydney Page Johnson, summa cum laude. Sydney has been at PCA for 14 years and is the daughter of Ted Johnson and Mercy Everett. She plans to attend Gordon College to study engineering physics. Sydney Page Johnson. Jacob Culver Kell, magna cum laude. Jake has been at PCA for 14 years and is the son of Tony and Stacy Kell. He plans to attend Oklahoma State University to study entrepreneurship. Jacob Culver Kell. Aaliyah Tess Kelly, magna cum laude. Aaliyah has been at PCA for three years and is the daughter of David and Catherine Kelly. She plans to attend the University of Texas at Austin to study biology. Aaliyah Tess Kelly. Audrey Grace Kernodle, magna cum laude. Audrey has been at PCA for three years and is the daughter of Denton and Melissa Kernodle. She plans to attend Samford University to study nursing. Audrey Grace Kernodle. Yahweh Jason Kim, summa cum laude. Jason has been at PCA for seven years and is the son of Ji Song Kim and Ji Wan Lee. He plans to attend the University of California at Los Angeles to study philosophy. Ji Wan, Jason Kim. Maddie Catherine Klinger, cum laude. Maddie has been at PCA for two years and is the daughter of Stephen and Molly Klinger. She plans to attend Tri-County College to study elementary education. Maddie Catherine Klinger. Drew Timothy Kluge, magna cum laude. Drew has been at PCA for 10 years and is the son of Tim and Gina Kluge. He plans to attend Laterno University to study engineering. Drew Timothy Kluge. Nathan William Kowalczyk. Nathan has been at PCA for five years and is the son of Moses and Kathy Kowalczyk. He plans to attend the University of Mary Hardin Baylor to study engineering. Nathan William Kowalczyk. Maxwell Cooper Kaiser. Max has been at PCA for 14 years and is the son of Kevin and Richie Kaiser. He plans to attend Baylor University to study professional sales. Maxwell Cooper Kaiser. Connor Edward Lamb, magna cum laude. Connor has been at PCA for 14 years and is the son of Mark and Christy Lamb. He plans to attend Auburn University to study engineering. Connor Edward Lamb. Avery Alyssa Lamsey, magna cum laude. Avery has been at PCA for two years and is the daughter of Bob Lamsey and Jenna Lamsey. She plans to attend the University of Arkansas to study nursing. Avery Alyssa Lamsey. Harrison David Lawrence, summa cum laude. Harrison has been at PCA for three years and is the son of David and Lee Lawrence. He plans to attend the University of Mississippi 
to study mechanical engineering. Harrison David Lawrence. Isaac Lee, cum laude. Isaac has been at PCA for two years and is the son of Stephen and Emma Lee. He plans to attend the University of Texas at Dallas to study mechanical engineering. Isaac Lee. Jeremiah Nielsen Lewis, cum laude. Jeremiah has been at PCA for five years and is the son of Renardo Lewis and Angela Neal. He is currently attending Duke University, studying economics and public policy. Jeremiah Nielsen Lewis. Jesse Soon Lien, summa cum laude. Jesse has been at PCA for 14 years and is the son of Michael Lien and Ruby Wu. He plans to attend Texas A&M University to study biomedical engineering. Jesse Soon Lien. Tiffany Nicole Lindsay, magna cum laude. Tiffany has been at PCA Plus for three years and is the daughter of Wes and Melissa Lindsay. She plans to attend Texas Tech University to study business. Tiffany Nicole Lindsay. Taylor Grace Lumsford, magna cum laude. Taylor has been at PCA for 14 years and is the daughter of Chad and Julie Lunsford. She plans to attend the University of Arkansas to pursue her studies in nursing. Taylor Grace Lunsford. Lauren Victoria Massey. Lauren has been at PCA for 14 years and is the daughter of Paul and Heather Massey. She plans to attend Liberty University to study psychology with an emphasis on special needs. Lauren Victoria Massey. Hannah Grace McCraw, summa cum laude. Grace has been at PCA for 14 years and is the daughter of Steve and Melinda McCraw. She plans to attend Clemson University to study interior architecture. Hannah Grace McCraw. Nathan Miles McKenzie, cum laude. Nathan has been at PCA for three years and is the son of Alan McKenzie and Connie McKenzie. He plans to attend Austin College to study medicine. Nathan Miles McKenzie. Madison Dell McKillop, cum laude. Madison has been at PCA, PCA Plus for 14 years and is the daughter of Ross McKillop and Susan McKillop. She plans to attend Texas Tech University to study psychology. Madison Dell McKillop. Gavin Bennett McManus, summa cum laude. Gavin has been at PCA for 14 years and is the son of Kevin and Alexia McManus. He plans to attend Southern Methodist University to study mechanical engineering and mathematics. Gavin Bennett McManus. Grace Olivia Metten, summa cum laude. Grace has been at PCA for 14 years and is the daughter of Tracy and Denise Metten. She plans to attend the University of Oklahoma to study marketing. Grace Olivia Metten. Jeremy Ryan Miller, summa cum laude. Jeremy has been at PCA for 14 years and is the son of Alan and Meg Miller. He plans to attend Texas A&M University to study business and finance. Jeremy Ryan Miller. Clay Brandon Moore, cum laude. Clay has been at PCA for 14 years and is the son of Barbie Kitchen and the late Perry Moore. He plans to attend the University of Arkansas to study computer science. Clay Brandon Moore. Elizabeth Kelly Moore, cum laude. Elizabeth has been at PCA for seven years and is the daughter of John and Kelly Moore. She plans to attend Texas Tech University to study speech pathology. Elizabeth Kelly Moore. Peyton Nicole Morgan. Peyton has been at PCA for 11 years and is the daughter of Ben and Vicki Morton. She plans to attend Oklahoma State University to study business. Peyton Nicole Morgan. Cody Shannon Morris. 
magna cum laude. Cody has been at PCA for 14 years and is the son of Shannon and Wendy Morris. He plans to attend Texas A&M University to study sports management. Cody Shannon Morris. Mitchell Reese Mosley, cum laude. Mitch has been at PCA for six years and is the son of Chris and Paige Mosley. He plans to attend Texas A&M University Commerce. Mitchell Reese Mosley. Anthony Brian Munster, cum laude. Anthony has been at PCA for four years and is the son of Lee and Aaron Izell. He plans to attend the University of Texas at Dallas to study computer science. Anthony Brian Munster. Joya Grace Newby, summa cum laude. Joya has been at PCA for eight years and is the daughter of John and Kiki Newby and Patton Ann Steyer. She plans to attend the University of Georgia. Joya Grace Newby. Preston Daniel Panetti, cum laude. Preston has been at PCA for 15 years and is the son of Dan and Trisha Panetti. He plans to attend Dallas Baptist University to study political science. Preston Daniel Panetti. Lauren Sheffield Patterson, magna cum laude. Lauren has been at PCA for 11 years and is the daughter of Ron and Taylor Patterson. She plans to attend the University of Central Oklahoma to study forensic science and chemistry. Lauren Sheffield Patterson. Avery Elizabeth Powell, summa cum laude. Avery has been at PCA for 14 years and is the daughter of Warren and Angela Powell. She plans to attend Texas A&M University to study business. Avery Elizabeth Powell. James Travis Pratt, summa cum laude. Travis has been at PCA for 14 years and is the son of Jim and Amadal Pratt. He plans to attend Southern Methodist University to study business. James Travis Pratt. Hannah Evangeline Price. Hannah has been at PCA for 11 years and is the daughter of Don and Kelly Price. She plans to attend Liberty University to study nursing. Hannah Evangeline Price. Evan Samuel Reyna, magna cum laude. Evan has been at PCA for four years and is the son of Gabriel and Jessica Reyna and Robert and Nuvia Jolie. He plans to attend Baylor University to study religion. Evan Samuel Reyna. Mackenzie Abigail Reynolds, magna cum laude. Mackenzie has been at PCA for 14 years and is the daughter of Christopher and Tanya Reynolds. She plans to attend the University of Arkansas to study marketing and business. Mackenzie Abigail Reynolds. Honor Grace Writings. Honor has been at PCA for seven years and is the daughter of Mark and Amy Writings. She plans to attend Oklahoma State University to study elementary education. Honor Grace Writings. Madeline Rose Rinker, magna cum laude. Maddie has been at PCA for three years and is the daughter of Ray and Julie Rinker. She plans to attend the University of Oklahoma to study broadcast journalism. Madeline Rose Rinker. Susan James Robinson. Susan has been at PCA for 15 years and is the daughter of Scott and Sally Robinson. She plans to attend Texas A&M University to study nursing. Susan James Robinson. Jordan Elizabeth Rogers, magna cum laude. Jordan has been at PCA for three years and is the daughter of Jeff and Jody Rogers. She plans to attend Baylor University to study psychology. Jordan Elizabeth Rogers. Ryan Wayne Rogers, cum laude. Ryan has been at PCA for 14 years and is the son of Terry and Sally Rogers. He plans to attend Texas Tech University to study business. Ryan Rain Rogers. Catherine Gate Gracie Ruano, cum laude. Gracie has been at PCA, PCA Plus for five years and is the daughter of Joe and Lisa Ruano. She plans to attend Southern Methodist University to study human rights. Catherine Gracie Ruano. Reese William 
Rucker, cum laude. Reese has been at PCA for 14 years and is the son of Jeff and Robin Rucker. He plans to attend Texas Tech University to study business. Reese William Rucker. Avery Ann Rudd, summa cum laude. Avery has been at PCA for 14 years and is the daughter of Daniel and Lori Rudd. She plans to attend Hofstra University to study theater and communications. Avery Ann Rudd. Allison Nicole Ruggieri, magna cum laude. Allie has been at PCA for 15 years and is the daughter of Rich and Pam Ruggieri. She plans to attend Baylor University to study marketing. Allison Nicole Ruggieri. Richard Andrew Ruggieri. Andrew has been at PCA for 13 years and is the son of Rich and Pam Ruggieri. He plans to attend Baylor University to study marketing. Richard Andrew Ruggieri. Jacob Andrew Shunk. Jacob has been at PCA for four years and is the son of Cindy Shunk and the late Andrew Shunk. He plans to attend Texas Tech University to study political science. Jacob Andrew Shunk. Melanie Nicole Scott, summa cum laude. Melanie has been at PCA for 14 years and is the daughter of Eric and Stephanie Scott. She plans to attend Texas Tech University to study secondary education mathematics and Spanish. Melanie Nicole Scott. Thomas Bustard Sherman Jr., summa cum laude. Thomas has been at PCA for 14 years and is the son of Tom and Jen Sherman. He plans to attend Texas A&M University to study business. Thomas Bustard Sherman Jr. Nicole Elizabeth Sherwood, magna cum laude. Nicole has been at PCA for 12 years and is the daughter of Craig and Kathy Sherwood. She plans to attend the University of Northwestern to study professional writing. Nicole Elizabeth Sherwood. Nathaniel Kenneth Slatke. Nathaniel has been at PCA for 14 years and is the son of Keith Slatke and Rochelle Slatke. He plans to take a gap year in England with UK USA Ministries. Nathaniel Kenneth Slatke. David Thomas Fraser Smith, magna cum laude. David has been at PCA for six years and is the son of Dave and Amy Smith. He plans to attend Baylor University to study technical theater. David Thomas Fraser Smith. Nicholas Benjamin Solomon, magna cum laude. Nicholas has been at PCA for 14 years and is the son of Nabil and Caroline Solomon. He plans to attend Texas A&M University to study engineering. Nicholas Benjamin Solomon. Kelsey Renee Spoonmore, summa cum laude. Kelsey has been at PCA for 10 years and is the daughter of Steve and Debbie Spoonmore. She plans to attend the University of Oklahoma to study nursing. Kelsey Renee Spoonmore. Landry Elizabeth Danes Strawbridge, summa cum laude. Landry has been at PCA for 14 years and is the daughter of Kevin and Michelle Strawbridge. She plans to attend Texas A&M University to study business honors and marketing. Landry Elizabeth Danes Strawbridge. McKenna Danae Stringfellow, cum laude. McKenna has been at PCA for 14 years and is the daughter of Brian and Jennifer Stringfellow. She plans to attend Texas A&M University to study construction science. McKenna Danae Stringfellow. Carlos Daniel Tabata, magna cum laude. Carlos has been at PCA for two years and is the son of Carlos and Ruth Tabata. He plans to attend the University of Michigan to study music composition. Carlos Daniel Tabata. Jasic Christian Trevilian, cum laude. Jasic has been at PCA for 14 years and is the son of Mark Trevilian and Gina Patton. He plans to attend Texas Tech University to study engineering. Jasic Christian Trevilian. Danilo Santos Villani. 
Danilo has been a PCA for three years and is the son of Humberto Volani and Jane Santos. He plans to attend Oklahoma City University to study economics. Danilo Santos Volani. Courtney McKay Villa, summa cum laude. Courtney has been a PCA for 14 years and is the daughter of Fred and Amy Villa. She plans to attend Vanderbilt University to study molecular and cellular biology. Courtney McKay Villa. Joy Emily Wada, summa cum laude. Joy has been at PCA for 14 years and is the daughter of Wesley and Janet Wada. She plans to attend the University of Southern California to study English and pre-law. Joy Emily Wada. Jamie Allison Boulay White, magna cum laude. Jamie, <laughs> Jamie has been at PCA for two years and is the daughter of Lance and Valeria White. She plans to attend the University of North Florida to study biology and pre-vet. Jamie Allison Boulay White. Julianne Elise Works, magna cum laude. Julianne has been at PCA for seven years and is the daughter of James and Kristen Works. She plans to attend Texas Christian University to study marketing. Julianne Elise Works. Tyler Dylan Wright, cum laude. Tyler has been at PCA for 14 years and is the son of Larry and Stacy Wright. He plans to attend Baylor University to study economics. Tyler Dylan Wright. Kyrie Lillian Young, magna cum laude. Kyrie has been at PCA for 14 years and is the daughter of Jim and Catherine Young. She plans to attend Dallas Baptist University to study nursing. Kyrie Lillian Young. Philip David Young. Philip has been at PCA for four years and is the son of Reginald and Deidre Young. He plans to attend Austin College to study international relations. Philip David Young. Frederick Charles Xavier IV. Ricky has been at PCA for five years and is the son of Rick and Sherry Xavier. He plans to attend Texas Tech University. Frederick Charles Xavier IV. Ladies and gentlemen, the PCA class of 2018.
and everything in time and under heaven finally falls asleep wrapped in blankets white all creation shivers underneath and still I notice you when branches crack and in my breath on frosted glass even now in death you open doors for life to Thank you, Avery. At this time, we will commission our senior class. Seniors, please rise and come forward and face me, and please do not forget your candles. Seniors, it's one thing handing you a diploma. It's another thing to officially commission you. Last night, you were given a towel at baccalaureate. That towel represented the towel and the water that Jesus used to wash the feet of his servants, his disciples. The Bible has plenty of examples of commissioning. Of course, the greatest is when Jesus commissioned his disciples in Matthew chapter 28. But the Bible talks threaded throughout all of Scripture about us serving as ambassadors of Christ. One great example is when Paul commissioned Timothy and charged Timothy to take the lead. So as head of school at Prestonwood Christian Academy, I officially commission you to go into all the world and to make disciples for him. In a minute, we're going to light your candle. The candle is symbolic of God the light of the world. And by lighting this candle, we're symbolizing your commissioning to be the light of the world. During the lighting of your candle, we're gonna hear the Prestonwood Christian Academy school song. Mrs. Morris will now join me in the lighting of your candle. Christian Wood, Christian 
sincere prayer that you will let this light represent the hope of Christ. And our challenge is for you to take the real light of Jesus Christ into a world that desperately needs Jesus Christ. At this time, we want you to help us commission our junior class. Seniors, please turn and face the audience. Juniors, please hold your candle and stand where you are. The juniors' candles will be lit by seven members of our senior class who are siblings and our senior class president to next year's senior class president. Seniors, you may now light the juniors' candles. The lighting of the junior class candle symbolizes the passing of the baton from one class to the next. As we commission our seniors to go out into the world and be the light of Christ, we now also commission our juniors to receive the baton of leadership and to serve as PCA's next senior class. Seniors, you may now blow out your candle. And now it is time, seniors, for you to turn your tassel.
Seniors, you can now return to your seat. And at this time, I'm going to ask upper school principal Mrs. Morris, who will now commission the junior class. Juniors, please come forward and face Mrs. Morris after the seniors have taken their seat. commissioned our graduates, I want to now challenge the class of 2019 as Paul challenged the early Christians in Ephesus to walk in a manner worthy of your calling to which you have been called with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, eager to maintain the unity of the spirit and the bond of peace. As those early Christians accepted the challenge to humbly seek unity and body, I challenge you to lead not only your class, but also our entire student body this next year toward the unity found in Christ, to put Christ at the center of your decisions, to place Christ at the forefront of your thoughts, and to establish Christ as the foundation upon which you stand. Class of 2019, I join the rest of our faculty and staff in encouraging you to build our house here at PCA upon the rock that is Christ Jesus. Don't be like the foolish man in Matthew chapter 7 who built his house upon that which will not withstand the winds of change and the rains and despair heartache. As David says in Psalm 18, the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my rock in whom I take refuge my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Junior class, because of your commitment to the Lord and to our school, it's my humble honor to commission you to lead the student body for the 2018-2019 school year. May the Lord be your refuge and strength. Juniors, if you will please turn and face the audience. Friends and family, I now present to you the class of 2019. <laughs> Juniors, you may extinguish your candle and return to your seats.
But what would a PCA commencement exercise be without a special presentation by some of our kindergartners? And I want to invite PCA Plano lower school principal, Mrs. DeLeon, and PCA North and Prosper lower school principal, Mrs. Donna Ludford, to come and present our special presentation. Our graduates have learned a great deal as they've passed through our halls and classrooms here at Prestonwood Christian Academy. In addition to math, language, sciences, history, and the arts, these students have also interfaced with biblical truths. This year, our kindergartners have studied some Christ-like characteristics such as courage, faith, knowledge, wisdom, and love. They're discovering that by spending time in prayer and in God's word, our Heavenly Father develops these qualities within us and helps us grow spiritually. Graduates, PCA Lower School is praying for you, and they were praying that you hide these truths deep in your heart as you face your future boldly and confidently through, the, through God's grace. Under the pew in front of you is a gift from our kindergartners. It's a small cross. We hope that you will take this small token of our love with you as you travel the path that God has laid out for you. Every time you look at the cross, may it be a reminder of these kindergartners, soon to be first graders, a reminder that they are praying that you will be bold and strong and remember that the Lord your God is with you. Thank you for our school and these big kids that are finishing school and graduating. God, please help them to always have faith in you. Faith is believing in something you can't see, like the wind. God, please help them to always show courage. Courage is when a person is not afraid of something that is scary, like a thunderstorm. And God, help them to use the knowledge they have. Knowledge is all the cool stuff that you've been taught, like insects have six legs. And help them to have lots of wisdom. Wisdom is knowing what is right and true, like obeying your teacher the first time she asks. And Father, remind them to always show love. Love is a wonderful feeling like when your mommy gives you a big fat kiss. Lord, please help all these big kids as they leave PCA. Help them do all these things. We love you, God.
It's so unfair to have to follow that. <laughs> that was so cute. Well, that's the end of cute. Here I am. Um, <laughs> Uh, I'm Brian Sappington, and, and uh, on behalf of the entire Board of Trustees of, of uh, Prestonwood Christian Academy, thank you so much for sending your children to us. Uh, we're, we're just so proud to have a school that, that they can attend. Um, I'll, I'll keep my remarks brief. It's going to be a prayer. Uh, I, the summer is a wonderful time in my life because I remember going to my grandmother's house, and the great thing about my grandmother's house was I could do a lot of things that I couldn't do at my other house. Uh, and uh, bedtime was really neat because my grandmother, very, very religious, and she would want to pray over us. We would say our prayers, and then she would say her prayers, and they were different. Our prayers were a normal young person's prayers, asking for things mostly and asking for blessings for the people that we love. My grandmother's prayers were poems. She rhymed. She liked to rhyme a lot. I don't know where she got them, from the Reader's Digest, from her mother. Maybe she wrote them. I, I'm not sure, but her folksy homespun wisdom really stuck with us and those things that she said in those poems were great. So in that tradition, uh, I've written a prayer poem for our, it's mainly for the parents, uh, but it's a prayer for our children. Uh, so if you would please bow your heads and let's pray. Lord, thank you for our children. Help them bear their earthly burden, but not so much to make them weak. Humble them when they are certain to know the strong may still be meek. Show them that faith and intellect can live together in one place, to know that reason's highest use is not for power, but for grace. Give them godly, faithful friends, ones worth loyalty and trust. Keep them whole in mind and heart, and bring them safely home to us. Amen. Well, I want to thank everyone for coming tonight. We want to invite you all to join us in the atrium for a reception, but if you would please allow our graduates and faculty uh, to exit first. But at this time, I would like for our graduates to rise and turn and face the audience. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the class of 2018 seniors. Toss your calves.